This tutorial video will show you how to install and adjust a set of Kentrol JK hood catches on a 2012 JK Sport. This is an easy to moderate install requiring roughly two hours. Here are the tools that you will need. One 3 8 drive ratchet handle with a 3 inch extension and a 10 millimeter socket. You will also need one quarter inch drive ratchet with a 6 inch extension, matching universal and 13 millimeter socket. Finally, you will need clear silicone adhesive. Optional tools include an extendable magnet and a clean shop towel large enough to cover your fender. Let's start by opening the hood, securing it in place, and removing the two bolts securing the air filter housing in place. Once removed, this will allow you to pull up and back, moving the entire housing out of your way. Now here comes the tricky part. You are going to remove the single nut holding the lower catch in place. Using a 3 8 drive, long extension, universal, and socket, Navigate up and onto the nut. We found that using the extendable magnet can help to hold the socket in place when navigating the tight space. Once you've got a bite on the nut, you can remove it. If you drop the nut, don't worry. It will usually fall out of the bottom. Now that it's free, remove the lower catch assembly and thoroughly wipe down the area underneath it to remove dirt and old wax buildup. From here, we will switch to the upper catch. This one is easy to remove, requiring only two 10 millimeter nuts. Once removed, remember to also wipe down the outside of the hood to have a clean working surface to install the new catch. Back on the workbench, apply a small amount of silicone adhesive to the underside of the new catches. This will keep moisture from creeping between the two parts and actually makes them easier to adjust or remove at a later time. Put the lower catch in place, then carefully slip the washer and nut onto the threaded stud inside of the fender. Again, this is a tricky area to work in, and you may drop the nut a few times before you get it to bite. Make sure the two locator studs are properly aligned on the two holes at the top of the catch area. Once you have it, tighten everything down. This piece will not have a lot of room to be adjusted, so tighten it fully. Once again, switch to the upper catch, slide it into place, and install the two washers and nuts. Tighten them until they are snug. Now we are going to reinstall the air filter housing, making sure to reclip any hose lines that may have moved back to where they were, and reinstall the two bolts holding the housing in place. Lower your hood and check the fitment of the two catch pieces. You want the rubber strap to be aligned straight with the sides of the upper catch so that the sides do not rub and eventually cut the strap. Adjust the upper catch by hand. Open the hood and tighten it the rest of the way. You have now completed one side. Repeat the process on the driver's side. Unfortunately, there is no air filter housing to move, so you have to deal with an even tighter workspace. Once done, you will have a set of solid stainless hood catches that will not fade or oxidize. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like Kentrol Inc. on Facebook and share your installation pictures.